Hey everyone, Justin here. Today I have an overview of the new Garmin Varia 515 rear taillight and radar combo. This is an incremental upgrade to Garmin's Varia line, which has been around for four or five years now. This particular version adds Bluetooth, a couple of new flash modes, and some slightly improved battery life. So nothing drastic. So if you've already got a 510, you're probably not gonna upgrade to this one. But for those of you who are new to the Varia radars, maybe you saw it and you're not sure what radars are or if they're actually useful, that's what this video is. So there's already a ton of great reviews on the Garmin Varia 510, which has been around for a couple years, and that's basically what this is. And the short version is, it does one thing, it works really, really well, and people really like it. Quick word of warning for those of you who are flash sensitive, this video is probably gonna contain a lot of flashing lights, so something to be aware of. So the standout feature that's new to the 515 is that it adds Bluetooth Smart, which is cool because they've also come out with a new companion application on your phone. So this supports Ant Plus, but you can now also pair it to your phone. So for those of you who don't have head units, you don't necessarily need one anymore. For those of you who have a head unit, but you're also riding with a phone in your back pocket, you can pair this and also get vibration alerts and additional sound notification from your back jersey pocket. If you ride with headphones, which I don't really recommend, but maybe for those of you who ride with uh, open ear bone conduction headphones, you can get alerts through the app, through your headphones while you're listening to music. They're also gonna partner with Ride With GPS and additional mapping applications in the future so that if you ride using that mapping application, you can get the Varia information on your phone, which is really cool. So the whole unit itself is pretty small, right? It weighs two and a half ounces, it costs $200. It's got only one button. If you press it and hold it for two seconds, it's gonna turn on and put you in your daylight steady mode. This is good for six hours of battery life at 20 lumens. Press it again and you're in the new Peloton mode, which dims the steady light to eight lumens, reduces the flash intensity when passed by a car and is good for eight hours of battery. Press it again and you're in the nighttime pulse mode, which is at 29 lumens with a six hour battery life. And then lastly, the daytime flash mode, which is personally my favorite, 65 lumens, super, super bright, and it's good for 16 hours of battery life. The whole thing is IPX7 waterproof, so you shouldn't have any waterproofing problems. They've added one mount in the Garmin 515 that the Garmin 510 didn't have. So out of the box, it comes with three mounts now, a standard round mount, an aero adapter, which is gonna be awesome for my Felt IA, which I'm super excited to have this on. And there's now also a rubber adapter for those of you using D-shaped seat posts. All right, so tech specs and overview out of the way. It's really easy to mount on the bike using the rubber bands for now or the hard mount in the future. It's a standard quarter turn Garmin adapter. Pairing is super easy. You basically just go into your head unit or your smartphone app uh, search for a new sensor and add it on. On the head units, either Garmin or Wahoo, you basically get a permanent display on the left side of your screen that shows cars. And the cool thing is it's perpetual in any screen. So regardless of what screen you're looking at, you can always tell if there's a car behind you. All right, so now I wanna show you what the experience of riding with radar is actually like and explain to you why even in the short amount of time that I've had it, I'm already completely convinced the radar is worth it. Uh, the Vario will pick up from 140 meters or 153 yards in ideal conditions. This is pretty much ideal. And you can see just how far it picks it up in advance. Now I'm stopped and it's still taking a while for the car to actually pass me. If I'm riding at 16, 18, 25 miles an hour, you know, there's a significant amount of clearing time that allows me to get ready and there's the all clear, and I'm good. Now people will say, well, that's no different than a mirror. That's what a mirror does. Yeah, kind of, but the Varia objectively gives more information and more quickly. I've used a mirror before. The Varia lets me keep my eyes dead ahead on the road while knowing what's going on behind me and gives me auditory alerts. I know automatically how many cars are behind me. I know when I'm clear, I know if a car is coming at a really scary speed and I can prepare for all those things without ever having to look back or do anything other than pay attention to the road. And that's particularly useful on roads with poor shoulder or no shoulder or gravel shoulder, which those are the times you need to know when you're getting past the most. So it just makes a lot of sense. Let's take a look at the app. One thing that I like to do is actually just leave this running in my back pocket and it's got both audible and vibration alerts. I've got the sound turned off for now. You'll see it actually pick it up here 
I felt the vibration, and now we can see up to 10 cars. That would be red if they were going uh, too fast. Now is also a good time for me to show you the different ways in which the rear light blinks when it detects cars. Got the all clear, we're back to normal. So for your same $200, if you don't want a Varia, what are your options? The primary one that I compared it against was the new Cyclic Fly 6, which is a camera. So ultimately, the thing about the Varia is it's not gonna record any information. If you get hit, there's no proof, but the Varia is more likely, I believe, to stop you from getting hit. The Fly 6 is a great little device, you know, but ultimately I would rather not get the plate of someone who didn't hit me rather than collect the plate of someone who did. So I just set a really awesome PR that I'm proud of up a two minute climb while using the Varia. And it's really nice because you never have to think while you're on the rivet of, is there a car behind me? And oftentimes that's when mistakes happen. So I would liken riding with a Varia to basically riding in a really good group where you've always got someone to yell out car back or when you're clear. It's not the same as riding with a mirror. It's like someone's actively telling you when you're okay and when you're not. So let's talk accuracy and use cases. In about 50 miles, I've never had the Varia fail to detect a car. What I've had it do a couple of times is detect a car, and then if I'm in an area where the car can't really pass, if the car has to match my speed and drive behind me for, let's say, 20 seconds plus, it'll occasionally lose the car, and it'll sort of like come back in, it'll show up again, and it'll disappear, and it'll come back in, and it'll disappear. The VAR is really good at detecting when a car turns off. It deletes it really quickly. Um, it's really good, surprisingly good, at detecting multiple cars. Like, I never get surprised by how many cars are behind me. Ironically, I think it shines best in times where there's not a lot of cars. Because when there's a lot of cars, like in a city, it's just gonna be beeping all the time. It's two-lane roads or wide country or twisty roads without a lot of sight lines, those are the roads where it's easy to get complacent, it's easy to not hear a car coming, or what also happens for me a lot is there will be a car coming opposite direction, I'll hear that car, but then I can't hear the car that's right behind me. If you're riding at speed or there's wind or there's road noise or if you're on a gravel bike and there's gravel, it simply will alert you earlier than you can hear, hands down. So let's talk value. The Varia is $200. You could use a mirror, you could continue shoulder checking. No arguments there. But riding with a Varia is already making me more confident and I wouldn't want to not ride with it right now. I would rather have a Varia versus one or two new jerseys or a new pair of bibs or you know this year's color of shoes or whatever. I think it's worth it to me. So ultimately this wasn't intended to be a line by line spec review and it wasn't but rather to share with you my experiences as an experienced cyclist who's new to riding with radar and tell you whether or not I think it's worth it. And in short I do. All right, if you have any questions or anything like that, you know what to do. Hope you like this video. Subscribe if you want to come back for more. Happy racing. Happy training. We will get through this summer. See you on the next one. Bye.